Hmm. All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully, y'all can hear me now that I got a wireless mic, got better lighting to see everything. I'm going to do a three millimeter acrylic black. I was asked to do that. Um, and here are my settings. 800 or 80 speed and 98 power. And I'm going to do an infinity heart. As you can see, I tried different ones. Uh, this one was no error assist with 500 speed and 65 power. This one was what, 200 speed and 85% power. As you can see, I already did one with uh, 80, 80 speed and 95% power. So I'm going to do a run so you can see to do it. So I do the frame. And here we go. It's so slow. So the infinity heart, that's what it's going to look like. Be sure you have a well ventilated area. I'm in my garage. Got a couple of fans running. You know, it looks like it's not moving. It's moving. And this is the Atom Stack A20 Pro. The 20 watt laser. It's the 20 watt output laser. I am running uh, air assist and I'm running in the red halfway through. As you can see, some smoke just coming up, but that's okay. I'd put this on my stand, but I can't find it. As you can see with the air assist at where I have it, doesn't leave any white residue. It's just a clean cut. And man, does this smell. If you're wondering what that blue and white machine is next to it, that's my K40 that I recently upgraded everything. And I'm going to do uh, a video on that with Monport and their motherboard they sent me, but that was out of my pocket. Apparently it's supposed to be awesome. Well, I wish I could run it faster, but 30 watt, not 40. When I do the K40, I'm sure it's going to be a lot faster. And but oh well, Adam Stack is with uh, some good equipment. I've also partnered with uh, Trader Alley. They got awesome customer service. Great products, and you 
be very happy with what you get and they're pretty prompt on sending you what you need I'm fortunate that I did partner with them they sent me this A20 Pro that I just it's a beast it does what it does and it does you know great as you can see uh, the acrylic is dropping on a, a single cut and this is a one pass cut Oh my gosh. And yes, I'm a jeeper. You see the reflection. Once again, I'll show you the uh, parameters that I'm using. That's on the cut layers. And for uh, additional settings, this is what I have. So please, uh, if you're watching this video, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, or I'm open to any comments or constructive criticism, uh, but uh, you don't necessarily have to hit the bell because I'm starting out and I'm pushing these videos out as fast as I can when I can. But I want to say thank you if you're going to subscribe. Awesome. Helps build my channel. I'm not getting paid by any sponsors or uh, anybody. I just enjoy doing videos and I enjoy uh, laser engraving, cutting. Kind of a hobby thing, but it's uh, turning into a lot more than that lately. It's almost there. It's at 87%. I just wanted to show y'all the full uh, cut and one pass. So. I could have ran it with probably five passes at a lower power, but I don't like my machine jogging all over the place. Had a bad, bad experience with that. Now we're at 99% and it should be done here shortly. I do have this hooked up directly to my laptop. So I'm not using a, a card or I'm not using uh, the app. 
Yeah, it looks like it's done. Everything just punches through somewhat. But it's the gist of it. Thank you for watching.